Ha. There you are. If there's one thing I can say to my future self, it's this. No matter what happens, don't let anyone give away any of your toys. Now, with all that being said, let's go back to the future. There we go. That is better. What's up, my friends? Thanks for tuning in. And if I got a tale for you right now. Now, most of us have a story, uh, something similar to the one I'm about to tell, which is your parents, your parents, one of them, both of them, whoever gave away some of your toys, if not all of them, sold them, gave them to relatives. That happened to me when I was going into high school. My He-Man, Masters of the Universe, and my bigger toys, big gym, sectars, all the big stuff was in this huge box. That got donated to my cousins. I'm glad they got to play with them. That's great. But a big chunk of my collection was missing. And um, it's been pretty difficult to get a lot of that back. But I've got most of it back. Mom always kept everything. She kept everything in bins. And they were given to me. And they're now all in my basement. A few months ago, I went down there rubbaging around in these big black bins. Trying to find God knows what. And I thought I found everything. You know, there was the typical baby clothes, um, stuffed animals, you know, things like that from my really young childhood. And I opened up this one black bin, which is just gigantic. And it was just layers of stuffed animals and like this picture, um, just like a framed picture that she kept. I lifted it up and I noticed that there was some Hot Wheels Oh, that's pretty cool. So I take the stuffed animals out, take the picture out, put everything on the ground, dig further, and what do I see? I really wish I'd taken a video of what I found, and what I found was right in front of you, which was my Brave Star collection that I thought was long gone, along with my Masters of the Universe and my Sectars figures, but there they were. They're just sitting there, and I, I had tears of joy. I, I was so excited. I, I screamed, you know, in this house. I was just freaking out. I was just beside myself. I think Brave Star is one of the coolest IPs and one of the most underrated IPs of the 80s. That being said, right now, today, they are very expensive. So I thought my Brave Star figures were gone. Um, I hadn't purchased any since. I've certainly seen them in my travels and wanted to, but um, just didn't pull the trigger. You should have seen the look on my face when I had an instant Brave Star collection, which was my childhood Brave Star figures, like I said, that I thought were gone. And not only that, my friends, I must have not played with them much because they are minty fresh. Now, there's a few pieces, obviously. I'm looking to complete the line. So there's a few pieces that I've purchased since, which would be... Um, the first third of Fort Carrium here and uh, this sealed 3030. Those are not part of the original collections, but mom kept everything, including the new Texas papers that came and even the little file cards. And I'll show you those when we go into the light box of, of the figures. I am so excited to share this tale with you and I'm excited to share my Brave Star collection with you guys. So why don't we head into the light box and check out these gorgeous, gorgeous figures. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brave Star. In a distant time and faraway place, the planet of New Texas floats deep in space. All right, let's start off the childhood collection with Tex Hex, who I guess would be one of the two main bad guys, the other being Stampede, which they never actually made into a figure. There was only one wave for Brave Star. And that's a real, real shame. Really quickly, this line uh, failed miserably. It did nothing, which sucks because as you're going to see, um, if you haven't experienced Brave Star toys yet, they are just fantastic. They came out Christmas 1986 and the show did not debut, the cartoon show, for 10 months after that. And who knew that uh, kids like myself, we, we want the story of the characters, right? The, the characters on their own are, are great, but it was the story, at least for me, that sold me on all of the toys. So, 10 months, and then the movie, the Brave Star movie, didn't come out until I think three or four months after that. 
Um, it's just a real shame Mattel uh, misstepped on that one. But the Brave Star figures are about seven inches tall. So we'll move Tex Hex aside and we'll use an Origins, a modern Origins Masters of the Universe figure, Skeletor, which are 5.5. I don't know, the Brave Star might even be 8 inch, 7, 8 inch. They're just gigantic, as you can see there. Size comparison. Like I was saying, these figures are wonderful. Just look at all the accessories. Now, I'm pretty sure most of the ones from my childhood collection are all complete. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna find out. But you can see uh, just the articulation is crazy for figures back then. There's so much articulation and all the accessories. Just look at this mean grin on Tex Hex or Scowl, whatever that is. He's really actually disgusting looking, especially in the cartoon. Rise and face your master! Tex Hex! He really kind of makes me sick, but uh, I guess that's the whole point. So the common missing pieces on most Brave Star figures are the cowboy hats. And again, I'm lucky enough to have all of those. So check out his rifle. Put him there, yeah. So just one solid piece of gold plastic. Um, it's not the brittle gold plastic like the the Joe uh, gold, GI Joe gold, which is great. He's got a uh, couple of combat knives or just little daggers that come out. Really, really neat. Again, on the Brave Star figures that they sheath all their weapons. There's holsters for the guns, sheaths for the daggers, the knives here. Great detail. The pistol design on the Brave Star figures are some of my favorite. Um, so you can actually get kind of a replica of this. Mattel in the mid 80s was huge on light gun technology. Um, they called it lasers. It was just, you know, reflective lights and such. Captain Power had it. Uh, the later Masters of the Universe stuff had it and Brave Star was full of it. Um, but you can get a replica gun like this, which actually I'm looking into now because I'd love to have one on display. That is Tex Hex. Costume design is great. He has uh, the vest that's removable like Masters of the Universe figures and his power action here. One down, Tex Hex. Yeah! <laughs> Real <laughs> cute! Outlaw Scuzz is next and I can't tell you how much I love this figure. He comes with a little mini rig as well which uh, is able to transform and fly, but I still have the decals, stickers, whatever you want to call them, uh, the headlights on the front of the vehicle, and if we take Outlaw Scuzz out, I actually still have the stickers on the belt. How crazy is that? But this guy is, yeah, just like his name, he's a dirty, dirty pig. <laughs> In the cartoon show, he's constantly smoking a stogie, and uh, he's just filthy and coughing, and uh, he's a perfect little henchman for Tex Hex. He comes with that same blaster pistol there that I just love the design. Hat comes off. Again, hat's difficult to find because they actually, well, it depends on the character. For Scuzz here, it sits on uh, him okay. But once we look at uh, figures like Thunderstick, for instance, his hat's always coming off, and yeah, it doesn't stay on very well at all. Okay, so we'll put uh, a little scuzz aside. Uh, he also comes with um, a rifle as well, so there's no shortage of accessories on any of the Brave Star figures. So this guy has got a couple of mounted little machine guns here. Just wicked looking. They, they pivot. Uh, the wheels turn, and these side flaps here actually come up, like so. Uh, look at all the stickers, all the chemicals and vials and gears. It's just uh, so much for your imagination to go crazy with. And it flies. It's actually a really solid vehicle. Uh, very hollow, as most of the Brave Star vehicles are, but uh, sturdy nonetheless. The trunk opens up, and we've got some storage for some carrium. And Carrium, of course, is the ore that uh, every Brave Star figure comes with. It's what they're all fighting for on New Texas. Just a little tiny bit of Carrium can uh, fuel a space cruiser for a long time. So that's what they're all fighting for. I, I love this vehicle, guys. In a lonely showdown in the middle of the desert, 
is discovered the evil Thunderstick, whose blasting arm can defeat most anybody. Now, out of all the Brave Star action figures, this one is probably talked about the most next to 3030. This is a Thunderstick, and he's difficult to get complete. His hat is notoriously missing the cape as well, or the poncho, whatever you want to call it. It's a cape to me, but the vac metalized chrome that he has on the plastic is often worn off. And um, again, I was lucky that these things got stored away. I didn't play with them much. Again, we didn't have the cartoon, so I didn't know a whole lot about them. Nevertheless, good old mom purchased them for me anyway. Now you can see, this character is just so awesome. And uh, you'll see as soon as we move him just a little bit that the hat doesn't stay. Um, it's a little bit too small for his head and it looks like his brain is hanging out there. How cool is that? And uh, he's got some sinister eyes. His cape is removable, comes off just like so. And love all the accessories. Again, I've said it a billion times. So this quick draw gun folds in and you just activate the lever on the back boom shoots brave star right in the eyes just like that but just take a look at how gorgeous that silver looks on this character wow fantastic he's got a bullet belt on the upper thigh a really cool modern yet vintage cowboy shirt and uh he kind of looks like Trap Jaw a little bit with a vampire mixed in together. I could do that again. That's sweet. Die! Right in your eyes! Yeah! Sucker. I would say out of all the Brave Star figures, except save for one, which I'm sure you can guess which one's my favorite, um, this guy is definitely the coolest and one of the most sought after. Thunderstick. Good old Deputy Fuzz is up next, and this little guy is so adorable. I love his voice in the cartoon. Some find it irritating, I find it charming. Hey, that's me, and that's the way she goes. Now, this was one vehicle that unfortunately in the bin was broken. Um, I know that it wasn't broken while playing. I still have all the parts for it. Um, but the pegs here, they broke. So I'm guessing the weight of everything on top of it broke the little delicate pegs. But nevertheless, it's still in decent shape and I do have the parts, so I'm gonna try and restore that. Now, to my knowledge, Deputy Fuzz has probably the rarest weapon in all of Brave Star, and he is holding it here, and that is this whip. See this guy? It's disgusting. It's uh, like one of those sticky hands from when we were kids where you used to whip it and it would grab like, you know, paper and stuff from your buddy's desk at school. I can't believe I have this. It is intact. It is in perfect shape. Um, let's take that. Take Deputy Fuzz out for a second and we can take a look at just how long that whip is. And this is one really, really cool accessory that he comes with. Most examples I've seen of this figure, the whip is long gone or it's eroded. Um, it is quite delicate and I can't believe it's survived all these years. I guess it's been in storage, so there you go. Let's take a look at Deputy Fuzz up close. Now he does have a star. That's actually a sticker on the hat, which is intact, nice. It is removable. This is one of the figures that uh, the hat is most often on because it does fit really really secure on the the figure as we can see so a lot of these are still intact and you can find with the hat um, mine does not have stickers here i'm not too sure if he did he probably did i just don't have them that i'm not 100 sure but look at his little feet isn't he cute um, this would be in my estimation like the orco ish character from this filmation cartoon uh, but i just think that uh, he's absolutely adorable and his little mining cart he comes with. I just love when figures come with vehicles a la G.I. Joe. Uh, this is very similar to Scuzz's, but it's a mining cart, so we have a couple of cannons here. 
uh, the controls go down like so, so he can step into it. And he comes with just a ton, oh yeah, a ton of mining equipment as well. And again, this, when you're done mining your carrium, put it in here, dump it out like so, easy. And yeah, look at all these. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, mining tools galore. Sledgehammer, boom. Shovel, boom. This thing, whatever that is. It's uh, like a something. And then the spear thing. <laughs> I don't know what this stuff is called. Mining equipment, there you go. Finally, the man himself, Marshall Bravestar. And let's just look at this figure and how epic he is. He just screams hero. Um, I really can't get over just how beautiful this figure is. And uh, just the, the immaculate shape he's in. <laughs> I'm, I'm so blessed here. So the Bravestar figure notoriously is missing the cowboy hat. Almost always. Uh, and this guy is minty white. Just beautiful. Got kind of like a red. Not sure what that is. A sunset or what that is. He's got the rifle similar to Tex Hex. And um, uh, Deputy Scuzz as well. Very cool. Just one piece of silver. No paint applications needed. And he also has that sidearm this time. It's, it's silver as well. Just beautiful looking. It also has a holster. It comes out of the holster. The vest is just one of the best parts of the figure. That um, back metalized chrome here. It just it just shines. Look at that. Just beautiful. And uh, one thing missing from actually the cartoon. He's got a little bit of a rat tail there on the figure. But he's missing his ponytail. So the actual Brave Star character in the cartoon had a ponytail. And that's too bad that the figure didn't. I... I guess I can understand why it would be an extra piece that they would have to add on somehow. I don't see why they couldn't have just painted it down if they painted that, that rat tail or whatever that is that far down. But hey, that's just me. Maybe when Super 7 does the reboot. Let's pray, let's pray. Okay, so he has the power action again. Uh, does he? Yes, he does. So one reason I love Brave Star is a toy line and uh, it's a cartoon. It's very much similar to Masters of the Universe where you're taking um, two different elements and mashing them together. So in He-Man and Masters of the Universe, you have swords and sorcery meets technology. Brave Star, you have swords and sorcery meets technology meets steampunk uh, meets like Star Wars, uh, of course, and then the Western theme. It's just so many different ideas mashed together and it works so well. We need a reboot so badly of this series. Um, come on, Mattel, if you're listening, please, please, Super 7. We need a Super 7 Ultimates line of Brave Star figures. Wouldn't that be just super? Every single Brave Star figure came with a couple nuggets of this, which is Carrium, the most sought after substance in all of New Texas. Look how cool this stuff is. That shine to it. Oh, it's so awesome. Some pieces are more shiny than others, which uh, just gives it that contrast. I also kept the file cards. They didn't have file cards, but I actually cut the tops of the packages off and saved them. So this was in the bin as well, and I just kind of tucked them in this frame here to put on the wall in the studio for safekeeping, and just because the art is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, check that out. Beauty. Okay, now let's get outside of the light box uh, because there's one more there's one more figure, my favorite figure, that uh, we have to take a look at outside because I think it's just too small in here to do him justice. We're gonna get on the table and then we're gonna look at the other pieces I've required in the Brave Star line since I rediscovered my collection.